Hey, Sam from Las Vegas Scooters and Lifters again, and we have something new on the uh, lift for us today. It's a four wheel metro. Okay, so. Metro, Metro Patriot, or Pate Riot, it's uh, Metro Mobility, I think these are sold on uh, Amazon, that sort of thing, I've seen one of these before, so I've come prepared, so yeah, I've come across one of these before, uh, it was new, and it had a fault, new out of the box, so uh, yeah, the gentleman came in, this was a couple of years ago, we bought it online. I said, yeah, I'll have a look at it, and I fixed it for him. Something to do with his throttle. I think, I can't remember, it was a couple of years ago now. But this one, so far, with the diagnostic I've done on this with a customer, is the first thing I've got to do is change the batteries out, because they're dead, they're only showing like three and a half volts. So, put some new batteries in it, and we'll see from there what happens with the beep codes. I know it needs some air in the tyres. They said they hadn't charged the batteries for a couple of months, so they're going to be pretty no good anyway. So, we may be able to bring them back, but it depends on the age of the batteries. But I'll put new batteries in it, and see what's going on, see if there's any uh, error codes that's coming up with it. So, hold on. Okay, first thing to do... Uh, one of those. Get the seat off. Oh boy. There we go. I'll sort that out for them. You know, these metros, they share a lot of similar things with the prides. Go goes. You think the battery box looks very similar, but uh, I don't think a pry box would fit in it, to be honest. I think the shape's slightly different. They look very similar. The tops probably fit. Yeah, the, the other ones are slightly bigger. But, uh, so. At least I brought everything with it. Charger. So let's change out the batteries first. Before I do anything else. Looks like eight screws just as normal. Okay, so the batteries are toast, and these are internal threads. Okay, so my batteries won't fit. So, yeah, these metros have internal thread screws, and ours have tap tops. So. That's why we don't work on every model of scooter. So, and they put these blocks, because the battery packs are huge, they put these things in to stop the batteries from moving around. Which is stuck on the batteries. So, anyway, let me get those out. I'll have to put new connections on it. And then go okay, so it was the batteries on that. But when I turned it on, this horn button was stuck down. That's probably why they said it was screaming at them. So, the little sticky button. So, it's uh, got like a weather cover on it. And it was just holding the button down. So, I'll uh, 
reseat that. Um, just sticky button. Um, so what I've had to do is because these are screw top, I've had to sort of sold uh, the uh, connections onto the batteries, and then I can uh, put these spacer things back in to hold the batteries in place. Because the battery pack's too big. Let's see. Come up. paint panels that Drew does. Okay, so put the lid on. And that'll be uh, that one. But there is another problem. Very creaky. That's not my left, that's the scooter side. So I'll have a quick look at that, see what's... Uh, I'll fill the uh, tyres up with air as well. Because they're a bit low. I think it's been sitting longer than what they said, but I'll look into see what what the creaking is. So that's coming from all over the place. So the back end's articulated a little bit. I don't think it has springs on it though. Oh yeah, it does at the back. I've just bought them. So it's got springs at the back. Hmm. I don't think this comes apart. God, that's stiff. I think that's just the body flexing. Oh dear. Get what you pay for, people. That is terrible. I'll check all the screws and bolts, see if it needs tightening up. Melvin Allen's but look of it. <laughs> you have to get a long one in for that. God, these things are terrible. from making a noise, just the back. Oh. Well that's convenient, you can't get him to tighten that. <laughs> they put the tiller release handle under this shroud here and you can't get him to do it. <laughs> no steering lock either. See what's 
probably these. They look like 13. Certainly are. God, it's so loose. Let's have a look at the guts of this thing. Now I'm inquiring about a new walker. A lot better. <coughs> the seat posts are identical, identical to Pride. The pins are identical to Pride. Oh, okay. So, I'll drive. adjustable springs on them but I'm not going to mess with that so that's where your brain is not yours personally but the scooter's brain that's the seat post back in let's get the battery pack back together Batteries are swollen. A little bit of information. I had a customer in yesterday, and uh, there we go. Yeah, I had a customer in yesterday. I had to refuse him. That's the first. That's the first one I've ever had to do. He brought his scooter in, and I had to refuse it. It was just. But you think the do's and turd was bad? This thing had got feces, urine, food, it had a piece of toast in the front basket, stale, and I brought the battery pack in here, and I could still smell it now, the smell of urine, I had to turn it away, I just, it made me gag, I used to be a butcher, I've been a butcher all of my life, and I can handle bad smells, working in a butcher shop, and that was just, that was beyond me. I had to turn away. So you've got to clean this up before I can even touch it. It's, and he's in a care assisted home. And how they are letting that get away with that. If, it, it is beyond me. How they, uh, they allow people to live in that kind of conditions. So anyway, he cleaned it, brought it back, put new batteries in it. He got some kind of liquid ingress into his charger as well he had batteries not long ago they're actually in there and it 
I think the the liquid on the charger was causing him charging problems. He said he's not getting any battery life. I did a load test on the batteries, they're fine. <laughs> it's more than likely the, the rot in the charger cable, it was just all powdery and you can see the corrosion on it. It's never going to work correctly when it's like that. But anyway, that was yesterday's fun fact. It's, uh, Hello, Jennifer. Hello. Oh, God. It's hot. I turned the heat off and the door I'm sweating like a piggy in here. Hey. Eh? Okay, so that's that. Done as best as I want to do it. Okay. Move it over here so I can do his tyres. So I can get him to do it. Sorry about the noise. Usually written on the tyre what your maximum PSI is. It says 50, so. That one's pretty flat. a little bit lower than 50. I want it riding like a rock. Not many scooters come with pneumatic tyres nowadays. This one does. Sorry. Hot neck. Oh. So he's got no air in his tyres. No fixing that horn button. Love the reversing beep. It's a good turning radius on this, though. I'll take it for a little drive. We're ready. Oh, God, seat's a bit uncomfortable. Very, very narrow seat. Very wobbly as well. I know it's got suspension, but oh dear. And not look at my feet. I'm having to splay my feet out like that to get onto the footboard. So if you're thinking of buying one of these, don't buy it if you've got big feet. You can put your feet up there, but I can feel it in my hips, in my groin. So at least it's not creaking now. God, this seat is solid. It's really rock hard. So uh, just a little review, you do get cup holders, that's a nice little feature, but that handle at the front there is difficult to get to, to adjust your tiller. Top console's alright, apart from that disgusting button. You've got lights, I think, maybe, I don't know if it's a, yeah, just front light, the rear light comes on when you break. So. Top speed is going to be about four miles an hour, maybe a little bit faster. Very noisy back end Rrr, noise. 
not sure what the it's bleed out front a bit like the Victory 10 2.0s where they put the cup holders in there. That, that feet positioning is not very good. I do not like that. It's very cramped. I mean, my feet are right up against the battery pack. And uh, yeah, it's, I wouldn't be comfortable. This seat is absolutely terrible. It's rock hard. Right, put suspension on a scooter that has. Hmm. He obviously doesn't like red. But anyway. Reverse. Annoying reversing beep. But that, you, oh, you've got your charge port there, and plus a USB charge port there. So they've put the gimmicks on there. Uh, but that seat is very narrow. It's uh, the backrest actually comes into the seat, so solid rubber armrests instead of the vinyl covered like on the Pride. It's, uh, high ground clearance compared to the Pride. If you look at the Traveler Plus, the higher ground clearance there. But uh, it's a very squat scooter for a taller person very good maybe for a smaller person with smaller feet but somebody who's five foot nine with size 11 like me your feet's going to be a little bit encumbered by that uh, front wheel shroud but anyway that's that one fixed second one i've seen of these so i'll just push it over here and i'll put it on charge for him give him a call and come pick it up I've had to do some slight modifications to the battery pack and uh, tighten it all up. But uh, there's your Metro. Not the best scooter in the world. You get what you pay for. Very creaky. If you uh, you don't know what to tighten up, then it's going to creak. Seat not very comfortable. Floor floorboard very short for taller people. It does have suspension, but it's very tight, very stiff. And you've got a pneumatic tyre, so why well, they put both on, I don't know. But anyway, that's that one done. Uh, if you like this sort of content, like, share, and also give us that subscribe. Trying to get up to a thousand uh, subscribers, I, was, I think I'll be waiting a while. <laughs> but anyway, it's Saturday morning here in Las Vegas. But yeah, I'm still waiting for Truman to pick up his dog. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, we appreciate it. So until next time, bye now.